Hello everyone. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Gravitas 24 Interviews. And today here with us we have Amitesh and Claire, the organizers of Stalls. Hi Amitesh. Hi Claire. Hi. Hi. Hello. These are the people who work behind the stalls so that you get the yummiest food possible. So, speaking about the stalls, how do you manage stalls? Okay, so I think the first quality that you need to manage stalls is to have good communication skills and then you have to be very calm and composed. Um I might lack a little bit in that field but Amitesh <laughs> over here helps me. Um yeah. So oh, and then like we have uh, basically swart stalls is like food food comes in matter and then uh, we have different varieties of food basically. So this time we have uh, got the food from the north to the south yeah. And then we have uh, Bengali style Bengali items and all the Uh, yummy chats and all so i like everyone uh, will love all the chat items and uh, fast foods are also there we just want everyone to try all the varieties of food which are available in the in india yeah you know you're talking about food that's yeah. making me hungry and i can't wait for gravitas 24 stalls speaking about it how do you manage the last moment changes or anything that comes in the last moment how do you cater that so i feel like it's really like tiring and stressful at times and it's a surprise we all yeah yeah we get vendors and then you never know they might cancel at the last minute but i feel like you should just be like confident and optimistic that you might get like you know good vendors more vendors uh, and never let the team down do not show that you are like stressed yeah yeah i could see the team spirit in both of you guys speaking about team uh, who manages what work and what is the workflow that you guys follow Okay mm. so yeah like so we have a great, great team with us uh, we have our stalls team we are like a family with each other and then uh, we split up our work according to their uh, roles and responsibilities it's so, like say let's say one takes care of refreshments and one the other takes care of clubs and chatter clubs and chapters the other one will deliver foods for the vendors and other things from them they'll transport it so we have all these car domains and then we have assigned few managers there and under that manager we have our coordinators who's working out so that's the hierarchy which follows so since we have a good team we are able to achieve a uh, high standards there and then though so we be facing some issues uh let's say failures are stepping stone to success so yeah so basically that is the thing there so the, we'll we'll overcome those and then at the end of the day we'll sit and we'll talk to the team like what are the drawbacks or what what we left out we just want to know uh, tomorrow is a fresh start for us so every day we'll start new we'll start fresh and then we'll learn from the mistakes so the previous mistakes will be carried over and it will be rectified in the upcoming days that's what uh, true that failures are always a stepping stone of stepping stone of success and like speaking about it you guys have participated or been a part of gravitas or rivera any past experiences or any past hurdles that you want to share hmm amitesh yeah had, yeah but... <laughs> so like last year like we had a huge heavy rainfall during the, the same period it was like 22 23 and 24th of september last year and then we we couldn't do anything that time like it was unexpected natural disasters we can't control it human cannot uh, oppose uh, nature so what happened is like uh, in the third day in the last day of gravitas it it, it drained uh, completely and then it was flooded the woodies was completely flooded and then we couldn't manage to do any kind of uh, we had a power loss we had all the uh, energy shut down so that the refrigerants all the ice cream everything melted out it was a total loss for the vendors but then to all the vendors turned up this time they just wanted to rectify the losses there and then what from our department from gravitas from vit from stall steam what we have made is like we have made all the insulated materials okay and then we have the raised the standard of the land okay and then we have made a plain field so and the tents are now waterproof and then uh, we have made few other changes there so, so that the, if the power shuts down we can restore it within a half an hour or so we have a proper drainage system this time so we have upgraded everything so that we are will be facing those issue but then nature cannot be determined or anything but the forecast says we'll be receiving heavy rains during gravitas then too we are backed up yeah, we're yeah. Completely we are completely for prepared for it and then ha- we hope like we'll uh, overcome the losses yeah true that that sounds like a really good backup plan i wish you know there are like really less rains this time and even though there were rains last time i think the stalls worked pretty well last time too yeah. Yeah. speaking about that if you had to describe stalls in three words for gravitas 24 what would it be and why um efficient um <laughs> unforgettable for sure and maybe vibrant yeah Okay, that's all. Actually, very three interesting words yeah. to be honest. 
okay um this sounds very interesting i am waiting for stalls personally to go i know i am excited for the shopping as well as the food stalls thank you amitesh thank you claire we're all excited for the stalls and you know all are excited about gravitas 24 the pre gravitas stall where all say oh bomb uh, for more such updates about gravitas 24 stay tuned yeah we thank uh, vat community radio for this opportunity and then uh, yeah <laughs> uh, i guess everyone will uh, enjoy yummy food in stalls yeah. thank you thank you